What's happening, vegan entrepreneurs? My name is Ted Carr, and I got a really, really cool video here for you today. It's gonna show you exactly how to use social media, like Instagram and YouTube, to generate a lot of extra income for yourself, or maybe just purely drive all the income for your online vegan business, because that's what I do. I just use Instagram and YouTube, 100% organic, to drive 100% of my income from these two platforms. There's no paid traffic going on, there's no joint ventures, there's no affiliate programs I'm, I'm associated with that are promoting my products and services. I purely use Instagram and YouTube to drive traffic to a funnel and that's how I get all of my income. So, the way to use social media for growing a wildly profitable online vegan business is very different than how you would use social media for promoting your your dinners that you're eating, your fitness that you're you're doing, or your uh, your friends and family just showing off basically that's you can have your own private social media account that's fine but the way most people be using social media is, is is not helpful for growing an online business like with their vlogs and things like that what I eat in a day whatever that's fine that's like showing off I guess that's kind of letting people know hey veganism is cool it exists it works here's how to do it whatever but if you want to use social media to generate income you've got to use these three ingredients okay you have to have this recipe intact so by the end of this video you're gonna know exactly what to put into each of your social media pieces of content. It's gonna be really, really cool. So, first things first. You need to have the intention of providing value. So much value in the video that by the end of the video, someone's identity has shifted or they're able to now go get a result that they couldn't have gotten otherwise, or they're thinking like, wow, this is so valuable, I would be happy to pay for this in the future, something like this, right? It needs to be actually valuable. And the way to do that is to know exactly what your customer wants, and then you talk about how to get that. So talk about your customer, talk about what they want. Don't talk about yourself. Don't talk about yourself. That That's the first golden rule here. It's like, I am not allowed to talk about myself in this video. This video is not about me. Sure, at the start, I talked about how I was able to generate X income from social media, but that's just giving you like case studies, giving you an example. But you, no, I don't need more than that. I don't need to tell you about where I got this shirt or why I got this car or where I am right now or what I have for breakfast or any of that stuff. It's not about me. This is about you getting from where you are now to where you want to be. And that's all your content needs to be about. It needs to be about the customer. Okay, so if you're trying to help vegans lose weight, focus on vegans helping them lose weight. Like you just, you just give them step-by-step -step tips on how to lose weight. And then with each of those steps, within each of those steps, there's going to be some problems that come up. Like if one of your steps to lose weight is to uh, eat more fruit, a problem is going to come up. They're going to say, oh, but um, I don't know what fruit to eat. Or if when I eat too much fruit, I feel bloated. Or um, I I'm afraid of too much sugar. Like you address concerns within each of the steps. Because if you give someone like top three steps for doing this, there's going to be like 10 concerns at least within each of those steps. So you want to address the sub steps. But that's how you provide value on social media. You find out what your customer wants and you find out how that they can, and you don't find out, you already probably know this, you don't find out how to get what they want, you teach them how to get what they want. You give them all the steps along the way. So what I'm giving you here in this video is an example. You want to grow your online vegan business, what you got to do is you got to use social media. The way to use social media is by using these three ingredients. First ingredient is providing value, focusing on the customer, okay? Never about yourself, it's always about the customer. And you want to help them get results in advance of you ever asking them for anything. That leads into the second point here. In each of your videos, you want to be generating goodwill. And goodwill is just a fancy word for saying that you want it, your content to make people like you and trust you. And the way to get people to like you and trust you in your content is by helping them get a result in advance of them ever needing to buy anything from you or pay you for anything or, or before you even asking them for anything. You just want to help them get a result. And that result can be a physical result. It can be something tangible like, hey, you helped me build a bigger bicep or hey, you helped me um, know how to print off a, a worksheet, like whatever. It can be that or it can be just a mindset shift. Hey, you've changed the way I think about the world now. Thank you very much. Or hey, you made me feel something. You got to generate some sort of result. It's either a feeling or a thought or something physical, okay? That's how you generate goodwill. And each of your pieces of content needs to do that. And the way you're going to be able to do that is by helping people get a result and it's going to really be by over-delivering. So getting people to think they're coming for one thing, but really you give them so much more. That's how you generate goodwill. Each of your pieces of content needs to do that. And when I say pieces of content, I don't mean a big fancy production. I mean what I'm doing right now. Just taking out your phone, recording, boom, done, post it. Take a picture, write a caption, boom, done. That's it. You don't need to be fancy about it. I see a lot of people get caught up and they're like, oh, i got to wait for this camera to get delivered. i got to wait 
for the new iPhone to come. I gotta get a new microphone. I gotta get a new lens for my camera. It's like, well, you don't need any of that. You don't even need a tripod. You can stack some books up and use that. Like, just record some content, put it out there, and help people. The goal needs to be you focusing on helping people. In fact, the crappier the quality of content, like the megapixel, or whatever, the more people can recognize that, hey, this person's not letting any obstacles get in his or her way. They're just here to help me. So that's in generating goodwill in and of itself. People appreciate it, even if it's slightly low quality camera. I'm using my phone right now. The third thing each of your pieces of content needs to have in it is an offer. And the reason you want to make an offer in each of your pieces of content is because you want people to continue the journey. If you just end the video, then they just took everything they learned and boom, you send them to a brick wall. You send them up to space. They're zooming around Pluto. Like they're not doing anything. They're just it's useless. The content's useless. So the way to make content actually truly valuable for, valuable for people is to then say, hey, if you want to learn more, or if you want free access to my in-depth training, click the link in the description and you'll get free access to that. So you want your offers to guide someone to somewhere where they can get something for free. So the offers, when I say make an offer, I don't mean now that you've watched my video, buy my thing. No, 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 no. Social media is not for selling. Social media is for saying, hey, what's up? My name's Ted. Here's what I do. This is how I can help. If you want for more, more information, watch this video, check this out. If you want more information after that, feel free to sign up for my newsletter or new one. Nobody likes newsletters, but feel free to sign up for my, my monthly um, program or feel free to get my ebook or feel free to get my video course or feel free to book a free consult with me, whatever. You want people to continue their journey because after they watch the video, if somebody's watched this far, we're about six and a half minutes into this video here, almost seven minutes. If you've watched this far, clearly you're interested in what I'm talking about, right? So how, how crazy would it be for me to just say, okay, we'll see you later, turn around and walk away. You're a captive audience right now. You're watching. It's my duty to say, hey, you want more information? Let's keep going. Let's keep walking. It's like you, you always want to make an offer at the end of your videos. And the way to do it is just by saying like, oh, hey, by the way, um, if you want more information on this, if you want to go deep into this with a one hour deep dive masterclass with me, you can check out the link in the description or head over to tedcarclass.com. And if you go to tedcarclass.com, this is true, by the way, it's not an example, if you go to tedcarclass.com, you can sign up for a free one hour live training with me where you can ask me anything at the end about what you just learned throughout the whole class. And the whole class basically shows you the steps from A to Z, from where you are now to where you want to be with your online vegan business. It shows you how to build a wildly profitable online vegan business by showing you how I was able to generate over $18,000 in a month using organic methods, Instagram and YouTube how to set up your products, how to set up your funnels, how to make the offers, how to set up social media. It's all in the hour class. Okay, so just go to tedcarclass.com and you can get more information on that. So that's it. That's a wrap. Um, again, every piece of content needs to have these three things. You gotta be, 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 uh, gotta be providing value, gotta be generating goodwill, and you got to be making offers. That's it. Hope you like this. If you did, awesome. I'll see you at tedcarclass.com. Okay, peace out. Much love.